All right. So I've been kind of been dying to talk about, you know, at least something like this. We're referring to the brand split. You know, ever, ever since they tried, you know, the least bit, I've been trying to, like, you know, somewhat do it again. But, yeah, I just felt like, because I, I also have other things that I want to talk about. So I just felt like this, you know, of course, to, that's everything, everyday thing. But I felt like that I need, I just want to get this out and about out the way. Because I really wanted to, to talk about this and bring this to everybody's attention. And, you know, before, before the year is out. So... All right, okay, so the brand split, when it comes to the brand split. So, yeah, I've been, uh, you know, not that it's uh, uh, always, of course, that's an everyday thing. I've been watching the brand, uh, when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to the original brand split, you know, I've, of course, I've been watching my Ruthless Aggression era. You know, I've been watching, of course, that, you know, cut, cut that war between when it first when it when it became a thing, you know, like the draft, draft lottery and everything like that. I'm pretty much well. I'm yeah. I'm pretty much well into it. Of course, when you have like the the official brand cut split between the uh, you have Stephanie that can uh, best the general manager of SmackDown, and you have uh, Eric Bischoff. You know, he's the general manager of Raw, and that's where I'm pretty much at. And it's like, damn, <laughs> I've been having so much because I've been I've been watching that lately, and it's like I've been having so much damn fun. <laughs> it's like, wow, like remember when they used to take the brand split, or as far as like when it started off. Remember, remember when they used to take that shit seriously? It was so entertaining. It was so fun. You have Eric and Stephanie trying to one up each other. Just week after week, non it was consistent, nonstop, and like, I mean, of course, like later on, you didn't have like, you know, such as you know, of course, Cena. They were pretty much still jobbers, like like a, you know, I'm at the point now, but you didn't have it when, uh, of course, the then the brand welfare. It was already on, but like, you know, of course, you know, it really starting to get into the brand welfare when you have like your stars of respective brands. But you still pretty much have like, well, pretty much like Triple Course Triple H is the top dog, and I guess you have like Lesnar, or kind of like t- like take well, yeah, cause like Lesnar kind of like take or anything like that. They're like kind of like the top guys of yeah, basically Lesnar right now too. When, you know, when we when was getting started into that was the top guy of the brand. But yeah, like <laughs> yeah, that shit's so fun. And it just goes to show you how also when it was first introduced and in that, you know, at least WWE was still at that point. Of course, you know, WWE was still at that point in time to where, yeah, like, you know, their team, their te- you know, their product. And it was, you know, it was still watchable. It was, you know, it was hella entertaining. The matches, top quality, <laughs> actual wrestling. And, of course, then you, like, of course, you had all the aspect of what made professional wrestling there. And I, I kind of like how I made a comment, too, about re- referring to professional wrestling. I say, like, even when you had high divers, such as, like, a De- even, like, you know, of course, like a Jeff Hardy or RVD, you didn't, the most you had them doing was, like, a frog splash to, like, the ladder when they had, like, a ladder match, anything like that. You like, like they weren't doing all this unnecessary shit to their bodies, or um, you know, I mean, of like they were doing shit to like <laughs> you know, being that they're the first, like like one of the one of those first inventors that was like doing that type of. But like the point is, like well, like they weren't doing shit that you weren't like unnecessarily or you didn't need to do to go out there and already get a crowd like that and especially how, judging on how the crowd already knew them from that point on going into like 2002 and then on but yeah like i want to establish this you know the reason i'm talking about that and bringing that in because i feel like all right let's because i want to talk about let's uh you know bring it right here because like the, the brand split, they still have potential. To, like, this brand split still has potential to do some good. Like, they can really, especially, like, re- if they really want it, like, this have this basically, this is basically, like, like, yeah, the brand wafer, the brand split back in 2002, only into 2023. And that's, they can have that whole thing again. Being that, they like, they kind of had, you know, who? They kind of had, like, Pierce and 
Nick Aldis kind of fighting too, you know, kind of, you know, kind of, and end up trying to fight for picks and everything like that. Yeah, like I said, like that kind of like you know shades of how it used to be, and I feel like. And it's, it's, it's also, like, you know, bringing it back. To, it's, it's kind of crazy, too, because, like, you know, being at that time, like, you know, Austin was the old, oldest guy on the roster, too. I mean, he, he wasn't I – mean, he was kind of, like, his ball and going home. But, I mean, you know, he's still kind of like – wait, did he come back in – probably 2003. I don't think the end of, like, near end of 2002. But, like, yeah, pr- pr- still, Austin practically was, like, the oldest guy there. I think, yeah, he was, like, probably, like, you know, being at the top guy, too. In the face of the company he was like the oldest guy there, of course. They still like who had uh I mean they did a lot, but still like it's still surreal to think about that too. <laughs> yeah, I mean of course you got your veterans like Taker, like Kane. Yeah, Kane was I don't know, yeah, Kane was still pretty young, but you know, Taker you had like of course Sean and uh who else did you like you of course, yeah, Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero, like uh like you know, just guys like that that was already, like, of course, they were considered leg- like you know already becoming you know legends in the making, and that it, yeah, they practically had done everything by that point. And like I said, you know, Austin, and it's crazy too to think about you know tr- The Rock pretty much was already established as you know a legend, you know, an icon, because <laughs> of course you know when, it, when you think about the match between him and Hogan earlier that year, two thousand two. At you know when they had at WrestleMania 18, and it's like the dude was just what turned 30, or <laughs> he was like yeah, like he was like well like just starting his 30s, and it's like this like he's still fucking young. He's pretty still much like a young guy, and he was like already considered that. So like, and yeah, like <laughs> reason I'm bringing that up, and when you get to now where you have like Orton is the yeah because Orton used to be like CM Punk too at prior prior one point in time used to be a young, young guy a really young guy and now they're really yeah they're really like older real old, real older guys they're like in their 40s <laughs> like I think yeah Punk is like two years he's 45 yeah right now and I be two years younger two years older than Orton and yeah Orton's like 43 and you also like you also have AJ he's in his 40s and I think, uh, yeah, like when it comes to at least judging from those three guys, I think I, I know it's like yes, oh yeah, Kevin, he's kind of getting up there too. And I think uh, Sammy, uh, so yeah, Sammy's at court. Uh, Sammy Zayn is too, kind of has them. And Roman himself is kind of like in his mid thirties. You also have, of course, Becky. <laughs> She's also in her mid thirties right now. Charlotte as well. And you got Bailey too, like just like, cause like I said, yeah, just like how it was in the Ruthless Aggression era, where you had your guys that was already older, already established and too, and then you course you have your top people of that brand, and you know, being at whether whether it's your top guys like Roman, of course, you got Punk, Orton, AJ's back, so I said like, what's the you know like if they really want to take this brand split series serious to how it was just back starting off in like you know the early to mid 2000s to what they're doing right now like I said I would consider because like of course like Roman is like he's practically not there anymore but still like he, he still can play as his role part being that top guy of course he'd be he's he, you know he's him as the face right now but yeah there's a lot that of course like they can do to make this legit of course that having there's a lot that they can do to make this legit. Of course, they already tried. They kind of show shades of Nick Aldis and Adam Pierce, you know, having a battle, trying to fight for picks. And yeah, or like I said the same thing you could have had with Eric Bischoff, and they were, you know, Eric Bischoff and Stephanie McMahon. They were competing every single week. They were at each other's throats. And it's like you could do the same. Of course, like you could have that same dynamic with. You know, Nick Aldis and Adam Pierce. Make it interesting. Make it entertaining at the same time. You know, don't just have just like the most basic shit where it's just like where we, that we've been have been seeing to where it's like uh, it's like <laughs> they're not it's not there's just not making a big deal at all. But so yeah, like definitely you could do that in that way. And of course you have like even then you have top guys. 
like you have your top guys of either brand. You got Punk, Raw, of course you got Cody Rose, you got Jay Uso, of course the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley, then you got of course Roman Reigns, SmackDown, the Bloodline, you got all AJ's because he's now AJ Styles is back, Randy Orton. I feel like they have there's yeah, there's kinda like a distinction now between the brands to where yeah, like they have a like they can do this. Like they can they have to a point now where they can just yeah, like if you really want to take this thing to where it is and really like want to establish it but so, you know, establish the brands being at themselves and having like top guys compete from respective brands against each other, having whole invasions <laughs> just having every, you know, just having the both of respective bands going the back at each other. Yeah, you can do that for sure. Definitely, if you want to do that, and f- absolutely for sure, and just have, like I said, just like the top guys on that brand, just like how it was back back then. <laughs> and you could just have the most like, like I said, how like how it was. And they they have they have story just like how like right now they have stories heating up. Really heated up. You got, of course, like CM Punk and Seth Rollins. And then you got, of course, uh, AJ Styles just came in. Got Randy Orton going at the bloodline again. Like, they can have stories, too. And yeah, you, like, of course, there's stories there that you can really make entertaining and interesting. There's a lot of other shit you can do <laughs> that people probably would kind of agree with. But that's how they bitch they are. But, uh, yeah, like, like I said, like, this... they. There's a lot, obviously. There's a lot, obviously, that they can do to where it's like these brands, not only they can make it fresh, exciting. Yeah, like, the, obviously, that yeah, they can do that. For sure, like, a- absolutely for sure. And, you know, hopefully, yeah, like, uh, at least what they're going for, because they, they can do it, like, hopefully they, they decide to do that. Because I feel, at least I feel like there's a distinction, at least now, too. Where you like where we're at now, like going into 2024, you got Punk and <laughs> like yeah, like <laughs> kind of good timing. You got Punk and Randy Orton returning now. Of course, AJ Styles is uh back, and it's like you know I think, like stuff like that. Like you could like they can have really yeah good things that were. Oh yeah, they could definitely do a lot. So <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like they could uh. Uh, at least where they going? Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah. That <laughs> I don't think they like, obviously are just, but yeah, like uh, we had to see where they're uh, going. But yeah, if, they, if they, like if you, like I said, like how when it came to back the brand, the actual brand split too when it first began. If you want to make this legit, <laughs> then yeah, actually play into the fact of it, actually make it believable, actually actually take it seriously. And of course, you have your characters and your story, and anything like that. Like have, like have very watchable. Just like, like you know, like not miss must see TV because <laughs> that's how it was with the roots aggression, the brand split in that era. Like they had, like I said, you had your own thing on each. Uh, it was like a flip. It's like two different channels. <laughs> Two fucking different channels, even though it's the same company of WWE. It's, it was like, like have that, like you, and you can have that going into, like I said. So, I mean, yeah, it's like it's like a lot is laid out. You know, we know how WWE is capable of; they can do it. You know, it's just that the, the fact of, of course, WWE being WWE, and they, if they decide, they just yeah, they're gonna be WWE. So, yeah, the, I mean, if, if if Triple H is the, as the fucking the top, you know. Uh, Booker of the Year, as like everybody say, especially you know the uh, the Ebots say he is, or people say he is, you know, such a great period, the boom period for wrestling. I mean, yeah, then they should uh, why like yeah, then uh, they should like the brand split should be as a big of a deal going into twenty twenty four as it is. So, I mean, hopefully they get to do something like that as what they're looking at. What they're trying to replicate, at least when it comes to this brand split, like how the first beginnings of like it was. But I mean, we'll see. We'll uh, see. <laughs> because yeah, the brand split, or at least so far, like the tail end of this year, all the way like uh, through the rest of 2023, hasn't been really, really <sighs> looked like a brand split or like they tr- treated it as such. So I mean, yeah, we'll see it for ourselves. But 
stay blessed, y'all. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of y'all Sunday, the rest of y'all weekend, and uh, also be work. I'm also working on something else. Yeah, like because we're else. Yeah, it is December, so I kind of want to give like you know, kind of like yeah, a respect, retrospective review in the year and what. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess you could, yeah, wrestling and newsworthy-wise, so, yeah, if it's really important, so, but, yeah, be on the lookout for it, I'll say it right now, too, but, uh, yeah, I'll pretty much stay in it, but, yeah, enjoy, I'll say it in, like, when I get to, when we actually get to it, but, yeah, stay blessed, enjoy yourselves.